Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The London-based Privy Council, Jamaica's final appellate court, has refused an application by Dancehall Star Vibes Cartel to introduce new evidence about a telephone to support his murder appeal. Cartel and three other convicts are serving life sentences for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams in 2011. Stricter bail conditions were imposed Tuesday on the four women charged in the alleged $65 million fraud at Sajikor Bank. Former employees Trisha Moulton, her sister Alicia Moulton-White and Malika McLeod and Tishan Samuels have been ordered to submit their travel documents and fingerprints and to report to the police twice weekly. The government is seeking to postpone local government elections for up to 12 more months, a move criticized by the opposition PNP. The government says the parish polls last held in 2016 are being delayed because of the push to make Portmore into a parish, budgetary priorities and the global economic environment. Overseas, U.S. President Joe Biden says Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, as he spoke in Poland on Tuesday ahead of Friday's first anniversary of the war in Ukraine. Earlier today, Russian President Vladimir Putin blamed the West for provoking the war and escalating it, saying the U.S. and its allies sought limitless power. In sports, prize money totaling 50,000 U.S. dollars or approximately 7.7 .7 million Jamaican dollars will be shared among the finalists in the men and women's 60-meter finals at Saturday's Gibson McCook Relays in St. Andrew. In your currency trading at midday today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $155, the British pound sterling for $189.17 and the Canadian dollar for $115.93. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, it will be partly cloudy across hilly and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.